Hey guys, hope this cord isn't like distracting. Um, I don't even know if you can see it. But anyways, um, today I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm going to make a journal for one of my friend's birthdays. And I'm going to do this kind of cool technique where we kind of make a crackly effect. I don't know if you can even see that. But see how there's like pink through there? So, um, I feel like she is going to like that. She's like a nature-y person, so we're going to kind of make a nature-y themed journal. And I thought I'd bring you guys along with me because it's kind of cool. So, um, first thing that I'm going to do, well, we're going to do the cover today. I don't know if we'll get to the pages or not. It depends how long this takes, but I'm just going to go ahead and paint the cover in this like light brown color. And oh, we're just using an old book that I gutted. I'm sure there's lots of tutorials on how to do that if you don't know how, but it's really simple. You just cut the text block out. This one was a little harder because I got this book at the dollar store and uh, it was glued. Which if you know, you know, but you're not really supposed to use glued books. You should use more of um, the ones that are like free in the back, but it's what I had that was the size I wanted, so I made it work. You can always make it work. Okay. I'm probably going to end up covering the spine with fabric or paper or something, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. And this book's actually going to be green, but the brown's just going to be the color that we see underneath. I don't know when this video is coming out. It's probably going to be like way after I already gave this journal away, but because I have a couple more videos already filmed that I need to edit and I'm really slow at editing things. That's why it takes so long for my videos to come out, but I'm learning. So she'll probably already have this journal by the time this video comes out. Okay. So that's the first coat. I'm going to go ahead and use my heat gun to dry it I think <clears throat> and then we're gonna do another coat of the brown and then we'll get to the cool stuff so well, I'll be back in a minute okay I just dried this it's not completely dry but it's dry enough where we're gonna do the second coat now Okay, so that looks pretty good for the second coat. I'm going to go ahead and um, dry this again. And then we're going to do the inside around the edges a little bit. And then we'll get to the cool crackle effect. Alright, so uh, we're just going to do the inside now. And we're going to cover most of this, but we just want to do the edges that we'll be showing. So I'll probably only do one coat of this, I don't know. We'll see how. I want to make sure to get all that purple covered up. Actually, I'm probably going to do a second coat of that. So, Okay, it's pretty much dry, so I'm just going to do a second coat. Again, I'm just trying to cover up this purple. Most of this will be covered by paper or whatever I decide to put on the inside, but 
we just want it to look cohesive with the cover so if you guys don't have a heat gun I really recommend getting one if you're gonna be doing stuff like this because they're pretty cheap and I mean I would have just had to wait so long for this to dry and it's already pretty much done because of the heat gun and it's been like five minutes so I'm just gonna make sure I get all of these edges okay I'm gonna go ahead and dry this and then we'll flip it back over and we'll get to the the good part all right so next what you're gonna need is just some Elmer's school glue white glue and I poured some on here, which is probably way too much. You don't need that much. But you're going to get your paintbrush in there. And we are just going to paint the whole thing in glue. You want to make it like as a continuous streak as you can. And you don't want to like go back and forth too much over it. But you want to make sure the whole thing's covered, so. There we go. I don't really need to do this one because, like I said, I'm probably going to end up covering it. But just in case I don't end up covering it, I'm just going to do it. So we're going to go ahead and just let that sit for just a couple seconds um, while we get our green paint ready. And then what you're going to do is make sure you get a lot of paint on your brush because you're going to do one even stroke. Across the whole thing. Now obviously you don't have to use um, green and brown. You can do any color but the first color you put down is going to be the color that shows through and the second color is going to be the um, color you're going to see most of. So now, I've been trying to uh, save you guys the sound of the heat gun, but I'm going to just show you this now. You want to start drying it with the heat gun if you have it, and um, cracks will start forming, but make sure you don't hold the heat gun too close, because you'll get like bubbles and stuff. Unless you want that effect, which I might go for on this because it's supposed to be like old and grimy, so uh, just keep that in mind. You can see all these really nice cracks forming. Let me try to zoom you in a little bit. Can you see those? It's pretty cool. Now if you can see, I have like an air bubble right here. I'm just gonna pop it because like I said, I want this to look grimy, but definitely don't touch it if you want yours to be like smooth. So just like kind of have fun with it, you know? 
touch it if you want to don't touch it if you don't want to but it, it'll take a lot of drying you want this to be really really dry before you turn it over because you don't want to mess up the effect that we just created <sighs> Okay, now that it's pretty dry, let me see if you can see. See that effect that we got? It's really cool. It makes it just kind of look like a really old book. So, um, I'm going to continue drying this off camera and make sure it's like really, really dry. And then we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the inside cover. And then... I'll show you how I cover the spine and stuff, and then it's just done. So uh, we'll see how long that took, and then if it's not very long, maybe I'll, we'll do the rest of the book together. Or uh, maybe not. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so um, this side's pretty much dry. It could probably dry a little more. What I ended up doing is holding the heat gun really close to it in a couple places, and it created these like air bubbles. Which you maybe don't want in yours, but um, I want this to be kind of like, it's going to be like a nature notes type thing. So anyways, we're just going to do the same thing to the inside now. And I'm just going to paint a little glue. Okay, and then we're going to do the green. You really want to do it in like one smooth movement and I'm doing a really bad job of that, but it's just the inside, so it's fine. Okay. There you go, we're just going to dry this, and then I'm going to set the whole thing aside to dry for a little while, and then um, I want to show you a little bit more I'm going to do to the cover I decided, but um, for now I'm just going to dry this and then let it dry for a bit, so I'll be back soon. Alright, so it's mostly dry, it's not all the way dry. Um, one thing I do is um, kind of smooth the edges down while it's still a little wet, because they're going to be kind of bumpy. But we'll fix that later. Um, so the last thing I wanted to do really quickly was I'm going to take a foam brush. And then I have a little bit of a darker brown. And I'm just going to kind of swatch it in. Just in random places. And this is just because I'm trying to make kind of a old looking book that's covered in like moss and dirt and stuff like that. It's kind of the effect that I'm going for here. So this part is optional depending on what kind of look you're going for. trying to blend that out. There we go. So that's kind of the effect I was going for. So I'm just going to do a little bit on the inside here just so it's matching. Okay, I'm liking how that's looking. Now, I'm, I have to turn the light on in here because I really can't see very well what I'm doing and it's going to cause a shadow and I'm sorry, but I just have to. Normally I leave this light off while I'm recording, but um, 
it's really cloudy today so I can't see there we go so that looks pretty much exactly how I wanted it to look so I'm pretty good with that I got a little paper stuck to this but I'm gonna cover the whole thing anyway so then uh, the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take just some white paint and you really just need like let me get rid of this you really just need like the tiniest amount I'm just gonna do like that much and we're gonna take a brush a nice big wide brush okay and we're going to dab in here lightly like this and I'm actually gonna take a paper towel and like dab it off a little bit and then with this like tiny amount we're gonna stroke it like this tiny amount dab it off you can go every direction. This is to make it look like it's been worn. Ooh, that was a little heavy handed. That's okay. Maybe like right here and right here, a little extra because that's where you hold the book, right? And the corners. And then around the edges. we go and then we're gonna do a little bit on the inside there we go we'll do the edges again okay and then the final thing that we're gonna do We're done painting for now, so I'm just put the paints away. Um, the last thing that I want to do is we're gonna sand the edges a little bit. So I just have some regular sandpaper, and we're just gonna very lightly you don't want to take like the paint off so you want to do it really lightly but um, that just got kind of weird from laying on the paper so we just kind of want to smooth them out a little bit I got some purple showing through there, but that's okay. This is supposed to look old and worn, so there we go. And that's our cover done. Um, now we're gonna go, I'm gonna go outside and spray it with some matte finish because I want it to be protected. 
And then after that, I'm going to um, put something on the spine that I haven't decided yet. So when I come back, I'll have that figured out. And yeah, we'll be rocking and rolling after that. And I'm going to leave this to dry. And then maybe I'll start working on the inside. So um, I'll see you back later. One thing I forgot to mention before I go seal this is I have this um, gold gilding wax, metallic wax, and I'm probably going to put some of that on here too. So I just use my finger for this and you just kind of lightly A little bit goes a long way, so. Just gives it like kind of a little sheen. Just gonna put it here and there. Especially on the edges and you want to do this before you seal it because you want this sealed in too obviously so it's one cover like the gilding wax just gives it that like final touch and makes it look extra fancy and then on the inside and we're gonna go around these edges Ooh, that's a lot a lot some of that off. That's too much. Okay, so there we have it. Now I'm going to go seal it. Okay, I'm back. And again, sorry for the shadow, but um, so I just plugged in my high glue gun. What I'm going to do is use it to make some ridges on the spine here, I decided. So I'm just making some nice thick lines. Okay, I need to fill this back up. Okay, we're just making some nice thick lines here. And I'm just eyeballing the spacing. You can measure if you want. Okay. There you go. I'm gonna unplug this. So um, then I decided I made this faux leather out of a. Um, what do you call it? A grocery bag? Like a brown paper bag. So I think I'm going to put that on the spine. And wait till these dry though. Okie dokie. So this is dry now. Um, it's got some lumps and bumps, but it's fine. So I got my Mod Podge here. And a brush. And then I just marked the um, middle on both sides of the spine 
and I marked the middle of this paper that way I can have it as even as possible here so what I'm gonna do is just first mod podge this whole middle section I don't care if it's lumpy because I'm gonna put Mod Podge over the top anyway, you know, so. I just wanna make sure this will be nice and stuck. So then I'm gonna line up the middles. Which let me not get my head in the way. I'm gonna line up the middles like this. Oops. That looks pretty good to me. Then we're going to Mod Podge over the top. I want to make sure that's all nice and stuck down really well. Yes. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead, um, Mod Podge, going to get in these grooves here, and we want to cover the whole thing, but we want to make sure there's no globs left on the top because those will dry uh, white. And we don't want that. Okay, then we're going to do... Oops. Underneath here. Okay. We'll do the other side. Kind of clean this up a little bit here. I don't really know what I'm doing. I've never done this before, so we are winging it. And we're going to really want to work these ridges. Close the book, kind of mold it while it's closed. Then we're going to fold this over. Same thing on this side. If you have a better method for this, go ahead and do that because I don't think I'm doing this right, but we're having fun. We're doing what we feel like doing. Oops. 
Oops, we got a hole. It's okay. What can I I'll use my bone folder? I want to make sure to really get in these grooves here. I don't know if this is working, but if not, we'll we'll figure out how to make it work. I don't know. I think that's working. I want it to look old. So Alright, I'm just going to let this dry and see what happens, so I'll see you in a bit and I'll let you know how it went. Alright, so it's been a couple hours. Um, I'll let this dry. It looks pretty good, actually. I added a little gold and I inked a little bit and then I sealed it again. So this is what the finished cover looks like. I might add a little thing. It's the inside. And in the meantime, I went ahead and made uh, signatures. Um, I'm going to go ahead and decorate those now. And then I guess I will show you guys how I'm going to bind this in because it's going to be a hidden spine. But if you need to know how to make signatures, you can check out my little golden book tutorials. Um, part two and three are about signatures and decorating signatures. So I'm pretty much going to do them the same way, except I don't think I'm really going to add lace. I might add a little, but I'm going to go ahead and do some sewing around and punching and stuff on these right now. And then um, we will bind it into this book. Maybe we'll do a little decoration on the cover and then it'll be done. And this will be a little nature notes notebook. So I'll see you then. All right, so now it's like a lot of hours later. I just added a little um, quick cover thing. And I just finished all of the signatures. So I did sewing and added lace and ribbons and stuff. So they look like this. going to be our book and all the pages are nice and decorated maybe I'll fill it with some goodies and everything but there you have it looks pretty cool I think so thanks for joining me I will see you guys next time bye